Welcome to Tech Primers. In this video, we are going to see what is Google Cloud and what are the different components of the Google Cloud and how we can use Google Cloud to manage and deploy our application. So uh, today I have created a Google Cloud account. So I have linked my credit card and uh, I don't know what happened. They detected $1 from it and then they finally cancelled it. Uh, I don't know what was the reason, but um, I have created a Google Cloud account. Uh, if you see here, it shows that I have a dollar three hundred credit, uh, which is left for three sixty five days uh, in this particular free trial. So let's go through what is this Google Cloud platform all about and how we can use uh, Google Cloud platform to deploy and manage our application and what are the different components which are there inside the uh, Google Cloud platform. So if you see here, the uh, URL for the for logging into the Google cloud platform is console.cloud.google.com so basically uh, this is called the console so once you log into the google cloud platform uh, you have this particular uh, dashboard kind of uh, ui so this is going to be the console and there are different options here in the left side so what we are going to see in this particular video is what are these each different options and what we can do with them so that is what we are going to do in this particular video so uh, once you go into the google cloud platform uh, you will be requested to create a project. So for example, I have created a project called tech primers uh, So based on that every time I deploy an application. So this is basically an application So the application will have the URL tech primers dot uh, whatever the app spot dot com or whatever uh, Domain which we give. Okay, so these are the different options once uh, we log into the console We see something called cloud launcher. So cloud launcher is uh, something similar to the marketplace of AWS or uh, the Cloud Foundry environment. So you can see all the different features or the different uh, third party libraries or the services which we can integrate into our application or we can deploy that into our application. So for example, if you see here, uh, there are something called featured. So they are just showing up what all, all the uh, premier ones here. The next one is the uh, virtual machine. So for example, you can deploy a WordPress uh, application directly into your uh, application so this will deploy the work plus VM into your application. So there are lots of uh, those So if I save you all I can see uh, tons of these right. So for example, these are all different different uh, APIs or services or applications which you can deploy into your uh, Application into your project basically. So for example MongoDB so you can uh, deploy MongoDB into your application and you can host it uh, inside the Google Cloud platform Okay, so there are uh, lots of other things like OutDB, Postgres, SQL. There are lots of these. So Cloud Launcher is the place where you can go and collect and use these um, services to deploy into your application. So that is the Cloud Launcher. So basically it is like a marketplace where you have lots of uh, services which you can go and buy or you can add it to your uh, project basically. So API Manager is where you have lots of uh, uh, APIs which are there available provided by Google. Uh, so for example here if you see these are the different APIs you can enable and disable these APIs for your application so uh, basically your application will be exposed to these APIs and Google will be using these to collect some information and same way you can also use these to collect your information about the project uh, or the product which is deployed so you can enable or disable them there from the API manager. Uh, billing is nothing but it shows the billing information of your project so for example I have a $300 credit I just uh, registered it few minutes back so it is just showing those information you can um, see you can link your credit card and you can rename uh, and close the billing as well from there uh, support is where you can um, contact the support people directly here you have community support and the phone support as well you can go there and then um, navigate it to whatever you want okay the next one is the IAM and the admin so this is where uh, uh, we manage our, our user roles and uh, responsibility so for example here I'm the owner here it shows as owner so I can add lots of other people and then manage their roles here from this IAM admin uh, and also I can use uh, different APIs to connect uh, to this particular um, cloud console so I can control everything here okay the next uh, next part is the uh, major tricky one so the uh, these are the major um, heart of the uh, Google Cloud platform uh, the app engine compute engine and the container engine so if you are familiar with the platform as a service offering so app engine is the platform as a service offering offering so basically you don't have to deploy about your infrastructure you don't have to deploy about your 
um, uh, management of the process where it is running which vm it is running uh, how should i scale it up and all those things so that will be taken care by the app engine itself so app engine is nothing but a platform as a service offering uh, inside google cloud platform okay so there are lots of documentation as well so if you go to the uh, home page and if you go to the navigate to the documentation um, uh, section you can see all the documentation uh, which is out there so that is how i got to know all these things so i was just going through the documentation and i'm just summarizing so that you can uh, understand in an easier way okay so that is what is app engine all about so all your deployments will be done inside the app engine so whatever application we deploy we are going to deploy into the app engine so if you see here this is the um, high level overview so the app engine the container engine and the compute engine if you see here these three are here okay so app engine is where our application is going to run and that is what is going to uh, act as a platform for us so we will know what is happening in the app engine only okay container engine and the um, compute engine are something at a low level where you can uh, create your own app engine using these two so these are for managing your cluster and these are for managing infrastructure so compute engine manages your infrastructure cluster manages your uh, cluster of nodes which are connected so uh, in general if you don't want to use these you can use app engine so when you deploy into app engine it will randomly deploy into uh, any linux machine which is there in that particular cluster and it will um, it will be taken care by google however if you want to manage your own cluster and you want to manage your own infrastructure then you can use container engine and compute engine okay that's, so that is that is what google provides so google is uh, basically providing you all types of options uh, for you to manage and uh, deploy your application so along uh, along with the app engine what is there inside the app engine right so how do i uh, what will be the database which i can use how do i store the data so for that purpose uh, google is giving something called data store so data store is for uh, storing your uh, key value store uh, so something similar to redis so google is providing something called google cloud data store data store okay or the app engine data store okay so you can use that for um, storing your uh, no sql data store so for example if you, if you see here uh, i chose uh, app engine data store is your schema less no sql data store so it is something like redis you can store the no sql you can store the uh, key uh, uh, the key store information inside the uh, no, no sql data store okay so there is one more uh, thing called google cloud sql so which is similar to your sql database which is a wrapper around uh, mysql or the postgre you can um, uh, use either of the uh, database and uh, which is wrapped around and google uh, calls it the google cloud sql so you can use that from the app engine so your application can bind to these um, services you can just create them and deploy to your app engine and you can use them uh, so that will be for the if you want a traditional relational database okay uh, the final one would be the storage so how do we store files right so google provides uh, google cloud storage basically uh, this is a rest uh, exposed uh, service so which is similar to your uh, amazon s3 storage object store so google cloud storage is similar to that so you can um, expose the um, file storage using the http uh, rest rest calls okay so if you see here yeah google server provides space for large files so that is what it is all about so you can see all those here whatever i spoke about so you can see those in the left side so there is something called data store which is nothing but your google app engine data store storage is google cloud storage sql is google cloud sql okay so that is all there so you can create an instance here uh, uh, at any cost and uh, you will be charged based on that so your right now my billing hasn't started because i have not deployed any application but my billing will start when i keep uh, creating these services and then uh, deploying applications here and start using it so that is the um, thing also they have something called big big table so if you want to if you are aware of google's big table so it's the same thing you can use that as well as a service mm, uh, there there are uh, uh, load balancers as well so how do we uh, handle load balancers so, so google has a uh, inbuilt load balancer so you can configure the load balancer so it automatically distributes the traffic among the servers so let's say you scaled your application to two or three instances so google takes care of distributing the traffic to whichever instance or the uh, port number or wherever the host or wherever your application is running so it takes care of uh, routing that automatically so it does network load balancing as well as the http load balancing mm, that's what this says 
also same way they have a dns cloud dns so that is how they manage the uh, dns and route to that particular uh, instance wherever it is running okay uh, finally they also have the big data support as well so if you see here there is a separate section for big data you can use all these different uh, tools which are uh, tools and services which are available here bigquery pubsub uh, Pub and uh, dataproc dataflow ml engine and genomics so all these are different services which you can use uh, for your uh, application which are related to the big data terms okay and the, these are just the tools which you use for monitoring and uh, deployment and all those things so uh, we will discuss that in the uh, future uh, series mm. apart from that uh, there is also logging here so if you see here uh, start driver so this is going to show us how uh, how is our application performing how is the logging uh, what is the health of the application we can monitor for errors all these are going to be uh, managed from this particular section okay also um, uh, if you see here there is a separate console window here so if i click on that you will be able to uh, literally uh, so for example i clicked on it and let's see what's happening so if you see here the console is literally opening and this will be connected to a, a vm which is hosted inside the google cloud platform and i can do all the uh, normal commands which i do on a linux machine so that is this particular option uh, so when we do uh, deploy applications right we will be able to see that uh, right now i think it is not going to the left i don't know why but i can uh, expose it to the next window so i've just exposed it to the next uh, tab so let's see how it shows uh, meanwhile the rest of the options are like sending feedback uh, asking for help and then there is a notification drawer it shows what uh, what is happening okay so if you see here yeah our console has come uh, you can type whatever you want so if you see here uh, there is only one file under my project called tech primers which is nothing but readme.cloud so let me do a cat okay it's just saying go, welcome to google cloud so this is where uh, we will be deploying our application or this is how um, you put your application here and start your start or deploy your application so that we will see in the next section uh, but yeah this is the console which is there uh, also google provides uh, something called google uh, cloud sdk or the google app engine sdk so that is used for deploying your application from your local machine to the google cloud platform so let's say our application is built locally right so we can do dev testing uh, using that so you can just uh, install your uh, app engine locally and literally you can host a google cloud uh, platform locally as well also you can use the same sdk to push your application to the google cloud platform as well so you can uh, do that as well so for, you can push it to the local instance which is running in your machine as well as you can push it to the cloud platform which is there uh, hosted globally so that that is uh, an sdk provided by google cloud so we can use that to deploy as well um, i think that's it about this particular console so the console is basically a, a central place where we manage all our application and uh, Google Cloud Platform's uh, App Engine is a platform as a service offering. It also provides the infrastructure as a service. So you can uh, you can go ahead and create your own clusters. You can go ahead and create your own VMs. You can go ahead and create your own containers and all those things. So Google provides that as well. But uh, I'm interested more on the Google App Engine because that is going to be your platform as a service offering where you don't have to do anything from an application developer perspective. You just push your application your application is uh, deployed into the cloud and you get your application up in no time so that is what i'm um, keen in uh, testing now um uh, let's see in the next video so we can deploy an application into google cloud and also i can uh, compare and contrast with the cloud foundry how cloud foundry is and how google platform is uh, i haven't tested uh, aws yet uh, i don't know i was just uh, skeptical because i saw that uh, I have to link the credit card information and I was like skeptical that they will deduct money from that but I, I didn't want to invest money on that yet but yeah uh, we'll see uh, how, how it goes so I'll uh, do a video on AWS if I'm comfortable there as well but yeah in the next video we'll see how to deploy an application uh, into the Google Cloud platform uh, until then um, see you guys uh, thank you for uh, watching so if you like uh, like my video do subscribe and uh, like and comment uh, if you want me to do a video on any specific topic uh, go ahead and comment it down below i can uh, do that based on my availability uh, meet you again in the next video thank you